pretty easy slam dunk there for Mika again. Yeah, Mika, one of the few guys that can say he's got rebounding numbers as Reggie Hearn cuts to the hoop. Nice pass. He's back and plays some nice defense. So here comes Reggie Hearn. That's Kaycock. And speaking of South Bay Lakers, who just entered the game, Kaycock is a problem. Dribble drive, kick out. Here's Horton Tucker. Spins into a couple defenders. That leaves Hearn open for three. He gathers and swish. And that's exactly what we've been talking about both sides of the court. I mean, any, any team is going to have a hard time like that. You've got guys who are more selfish. I mean, if you can get away with it defensively, and, and they certainly can, Horton Tucker comes back the other way. Behind the back to the Compo. Can he finish? No, he'll kick out to Hearn. And a three-pointer. My goodness. Tucker eventually kicks out through on Tedekumpo for Reggie Hearn and buries it. Sape up 112-92. Off the bench is Allen and makes his presence felt immediately. Trim 19 points off of it. Oh, nice defense from Reggie Hearn swatting Micah from behind. First of all, the block from Hearn on one end. You heard Kirsten talking about him. So Sape able to come up with a couple of stops. Now Hearn ops against the three instead. How about the old school way? It's a go, then he scores at the rim on the other end through traffic. Now, 68% of his shot attempts have been threes this year. A play like that can be discouraging, right? It's just, sometimes it just takes one or two. And how about three? How about three straight plays? As the Kings have not quit despite being down by 29. How about that? Out-of-bounds play from Kobe Carl getting Reggie Hearn, and he's been the guy here.